Well, 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 I think we're live. It says I'm live. Usually, I mean, I've only been wrong, I think, once. That means we're live. So how about it, y'all? Welcome aboard. Uh, some some fast food trivia fun. We haven't played trivia in a while. I, I was thinking about that earlier today. When's the last time that we all got together over here on the Internet and played a little game of, uh, of trivia? I thought it was like Halloween movies. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. That also feels like it was just a month ago. It was not. October was uh, forever ago. I don't want to do the math on it. Like six months. Holy crap. Six months? That can't be right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the chat, all you early birds. I saw all y'all on YouTube waiting for this thing to start. There was like 60 some of y'all. Facebook, you just had to wait till it gave you the green light to come on in. What's up? And now they're just swinging on in here. There they are. I see you, Scott Ranger. Ashley Dino, uh, Rachel Lynn Miller. Uh, you sure it's only once that I was wrong? Absolutely sure. Never been wrong more than once, Rachel. Uh, what's up? Uh, PW Corgi 2000 on YouTube. Uh, K with what looks like a picture of a llama there on YouTube. Uh, what's up? Houston, Texas in the chat. Um, Moultrie, Georgia. Uh, Bill says, check your pulse. Actually, I don't know how to check my pulse there. I have no idea how to do that. But, I mean, somewhere, I don't know how you do that. I don't know. I, I can feel my heart. It's still beating. Um, all right, y'all. We're going to get started here in just a second. Go ahead and throw this up on the screen for y'all. But what you'll need to do to play trivia, if you missed it, I think this is only the second time that we've done this, um, use this program to play trivia. But it's so much more efficient this way. But what you'll need to do is get another device. Like, I'm sure you're watching this. Statistically, I know you're probably watching this on your phone right now. You're going to need something else to play trivia. You'll need to watch me on your phone, and you'll need a laptop or another phone, or maybe put me on the TV if you get one of them fancy smart TVs, and then play the game on your phone. Because you're going to need to go over here to Kahoot, www.kahoot.it. Or you can download the Kahoot app to join. Uh, once you get in, you'll you'll go. It'll see something about join a game and enter a pin, and you'll enter that pin that you see right there two one three one one nine one, and that'll put you in the game. Well, it'll ask you first to enter in like two things: your name, like Addison and Angelina have done here. Uh, and an email. And I'm not trying the email. I know you're like, oh gosh, I don't have to get my email. We do. We're not going to spam you. Please put your real email in there because that's how I contact the winners. Because <laughs> I can't just say, hey, congratulations, you know, oh, Tim, you won. Now I just got to figure out which of the 10 million Tims on earth is the one that played the game. Uh, you'll need to uh, give me your email so I can email the winners afterwards. What are you winning tonight? Top three players at the end of the night. We're going to let y'all pick whatever T-shirt you want out of store.southernthing.com, and we'll ship it to you for free. Your pick of shirts. Pick one shirt out of the store. Top three players tonight. It's all yours. Hey, we got a super chat comment here on YouTube. Sup, guys? Ready for some fast food? This will probably make me hungry. It, it definitely will. It has made me very hungry coming up with these questions, Metalhead Murr. Um, so uh, I apologize in advance. If you ain't eating supper yet, you, you're going to get hungry. Um, all the names coming in here. Like I said, you're going to need another device uh, to play along. If you're watching me on your phone, you're not going to be able to bounce back and forth between this and the game. So get you another phone. You know, it doesn't have to be like super fast. Dig that old iPhone out of the closet. It'll still connect to the Wi-Fi. That's all you need. Uh, or grab your laptop or put me on your smart TV and then play on your phone. Gather the family up or make the family all compete separately to increase your chances of winning. Huh? That's a little hack right there. Didn't think about that, did you? Um, bigger the family, better chance of winning. If we got the Duggars playing tonight, look out. One of them might come home a winner. Um, so a quick reminder, uh, one thing we're talking about tonight that I wanted to show off. I gathered y'all here to talk to you, you know, to play some fast food trivia, but I also want to remind y'all about the potluck. You can see down below there, that's our membership program that gives you all kinds of cool stuff. I uh, wanted to show this off to y'all, though. Um, this, uh, if you join the potluck, you get all kinds of cool stuff. But there are two levels of joining the potluck, okay? There's a there's the basic um, casserole level, and then there's the dessert level. 
And if you join at the dessert level, you get a freebie every quarter, which is every three months. And this month's is the biscuits and cornbread coin. And I got to tell you, this is one of the coolest things that we have ever made. Biscuits, cornbread. And here it is for scale. I had no idea how big this was until I got it in my hand the other day. That's a quarter. There's old George Washington right there. That's the biscuit cornbread coin. Y'all, this is massive. And it's it's so nice. The biscuit and cornbread is like set into, it's like recessed, and it's got like a very dark blue uh, paint on it. And it's got It's a Southern Thing on both sides. That's a, that's a beauty right here. It, she's a beauty. You can do all kinds. Of, I mean, of course, it's for deciding at those pivotal dinner moments uh, if you're going to be eating biscuits or cornbread. But you could make some decisions with this. You know, instead of saying pick heads or tails, pick cornbread biscuits, flip a coin. That's awesome. You can only get that. The only way to get that is joining the potluck at the dessert level. Go to southernthink.com slash potluck. I'm going to put this in the chat for you. Um, and uh, join at the dessert level and do so before the end of April. This is only available to members before April. So I'm going to put that down here in the chat. Putting it in there now, not talking because I can't um, think and uh, type, or um, I'll type exactly what I'm saying out loud and it'll just be terrible. There we go. All right. I think, uh, yeah, that coin is huge. It is. All right. I'm going to give you all another second. Remember, if you want to play fast food trivia, it looks like we've got 315, 316 in there. Um, go ahead. Uh, if you want to play, get your other device out, whatever you need, go to kahoot.it or download the Kahoot app. Put that pin number in there, 213-1191 to play along. Top three players at the end of the night, uh, will get to pick a t-shirt of their choice out of our store.southernthing.com and we'll ship it to you for free. Top three players in the night getting a T-shirt of their choice. Um, there you go. Going to be a fun time tonight. Going to be a fun time. Let me go ahead and get some of these these messages in here. Let's get started. So Jay Z, Jay Z's ready to go. She's ready to go. She's fired up. She's been studying her fast food. Um, hey y'all from Montana. What? Look at that. Oh Lucy in the chat here from Montana. That's a long way away here. Uh, Leslie just says, "Give me five minutes." She's she's one of those people that are going to go dig that old iPhone out of the closet right now. Steve, it still connects. I'm going to go ahead and warn. I'm going to tell you, battery's going to be dead. There's no way. There's no way that it's not. Um. Uh, let's see, Matt. You need to come to Augusta for Masters Week. I would. Someone someone invite me. Someone buy me a ticket. I mean, I'll just show up. Uh, my daughter wants you to rank different flavors of Sprite. How many flavors of Sprite are there? I wasn't aware of that many. We got 360 in the ch in the game now. Oh, it kind of drops. We got people dropping in and out. Don't don't go. We haven't started yet. <laughs> there we go. It's bumping back up a little bit there. Gonna give you another minute. We got 708. Gonna get started at 710. So we got about two minutes left. If you're still trying to figure out how to get in on this thing, because I know some people are saying it's not working. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you might be having problems with here. But make sure your PIN number is correct. I'll put it back on the screen for you. Make it a little bit bigger. Um, but there it is at 213-1191. That is the number there. But, yeah, that PIN is huge. Somebody was saying, and that's perfect for scratching things off. I didn't even think about that. But that is another great use for this coin. There are so many things. But, again, the biscuits, cornbread coin, just for members of the potluck at the dessert level, go to the link that I put down there in the chat, or it's just the link that's at the bottom of the screen, southernthink.com slash potluck to go check that out and join. Got to join before the end of April to get this coin. It is huge. Again, for comparison, that's a quarter. There's old George Washington. I love this thing. This is my new favorite thing that we have ever made. Um, all right, we got two, three, eighty-four. Wow, got a good. This is a good game. Got about a minute left, y'all. A minute left to join in before we get this game started I'm seeing we got about 1200 of y'all watching 300 about to be 400 of y'all playing so i'm guessing some of y'all just hanging out tonight and that's cool i'm i'm here for it maybe you couldn't find a second device to play 
with. I understand. Um, it happens. Oh, we have another chat here. What's up? Uh, uh, Metalhead Merce says, Milo's is my ultimate favorite. I am at the USMC Redstone Arsenal in Alabama. Lance Corporal Murray reporting for Fast Food Trivia. That you So you're in the service. Well, thank you for your service, Metalhead Murr, if that's what that means. Um, I, would, I would assume that's what that means. So, um, and good luck tonight. Is Milo's a question? I don't know. I went with some. I went with some like big time fast food places that we should all have. There's a couple of sneaky ones in there. A couple of sneaky ones. How do you play? Real quick, no one got to run out of time. We're about to get started. But if you will download the Kahoot app or just go to your browser on another device, because you need to watch me on one device. But on the other device, go to Kahoot.it and then put that pin on the screen right there. Two one three one one nine one is the pin right there at the top. Got four hundred and thirty in here gonna get started here just a second if you have just joined i know for some reason sometimes it's like uh you don't find out about the live until about 10 or 15 minutes in but that's how it works uh yeah you're gonna see you're gonna see two things it's gonna ask for your name that's what's gonna pop up on the screen and it's gonna ask for your email please give them your real email we're not gonna spam you i just need it to email the winners that's the only way that I can get in contact with you. So that's why we need your email addresses. Uh, what's up, Crystal? Here from Montgomery, Texas. Just stumbled upon this. So excited. Well, I'm glad you made it. How about how's that for timing right there? Um, oh, Zelda, that's another good point there, um, Zelda. Uh, that you can or Zeldia, you can play with one computer by split screening it. That's another thing. I don't think about that sometimes because I know most people watch the videos on their phone. But if you are on a computer, you can do both at the same time. Isn't that amazing? Once upon a time, people use their computers for things like that. Um, all right. I think we're going to go and get started because I got 712, so we went a little bit over, but we just kept flying into the chat here. Uh, or, or y'all are still joining at 473, 474 in the game. All right. I think we're going to get going. Hurry up and jump on in here. We're going to get going. 15 questions tonight. 15 questions. All related to Southern fast food establishments. A couple of quick notes before we really jump into it that I should point out. This is not a matter of got to get them all right. It's the highest score at the end of the game. And um, you will get bonus points or like you will get more, more points for answering faster. So sitting around trying to figure out the right answer hurts you if you if you if you could have answered. Does that mean what am I even talking about? Listen, answer faster, get more points. It's about speed and being correct. That's so simple, Matt. Why don't you just say that? I'm trying to take the long way around to explain a point system. Come on. All right, let's jump into it and play some fast food trivia. Got over 500 people playing. Let's go. I think that everything, the information to join will still be on the screen if you're like scrambling to find another device. The pin number will still be up, so you can jump in at any time. All right, let's go. Kahoot at work. I guess it's kind of, uh, it's work for me. Um, you might be playing at work too. I won't tell anybody. All right. Which restaurant was originally known as Dwarf Grill? Was it Chick-fil-A, Hamburger Heaven, Five Guys, or Zaxby's? Look at those answers flying in there. 430 and it's just going. A lot of people are answering. You should. I should have selected the one where the answers will show up on your screen too. But if not, just go with the corresponding color and shape there. Uh, this was split way more than I thought it would be. The answer for that was Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A, old true at Kathy's first restaurant was Dwarf Grill, and then they named it Dwarf House, and then it was Chick Fil A. That was the correct answer. And a whole bunch of y'all missed it. But don't worry. Like I said, uh, you're not out yet. Okay? It's all about most points at the end of the game. And I I'm, I would be stunned. I would be stunned if we have perfect scores at the end of the game. Your next question. 
here we go. If you haven't joined yet, you still can. Just go to Kahoot.it and then put that game pin down there at the bottom, which is 213-1191. Here we go. Question number two. Oh, oh, here's our point still. I forgot we got a scoreboard here after every round. Jackson with 979. Got some super fast fingers there, Jackson. Jackson, Suzanne, and Lemonhead Girl uh, are your top three right now. Question number two. If someone takes your order by saying, what do you have, you're probably at what restaurant? Taco Bell, The Varsity, Mrs. Winters, or Jack's? Ooh, answers fine and fast. Y'all really know this one, or you think you know this one, because you answered so fast on the last one, I thought y'all all knew that one. Ugh. Oh. Oh, but you definitely know this one better. This one, this one, you know, it's a lot of y'all have been to Georgia. My favorite one, downtown Atlanta. It used to be real close to Turner Field down there. That's the varsity. What do you have? What do you have? I miss it. I haven't had varsity in forever. Um, love a good frosted orange and a chili dog. Varsity, 232. Y'all got that right. Let's see what the leaderboard looks like now. Ooh, got some moving and a shake in there. Uh, Burgalicious. All the way up to first place there. Uh, technically, we got a three-way tie, which is great because we're only giving prizes for the top three. So, Burgalicious, TC, and Suzanne on a roll, just hanging on to that top three spot there. So, um, here we go. Let's let's do question number three. We got 15 of them. Which burger joint was the very first to offer a quarter-pound beef patty? Was it McDonald's, Burger King, Sonic, or Whataburger? Is anybody hungry yet? We're getting hungry. Sometimes the pictures are related. Sometimes they're not. This is just a picture of a burger, so don't overanalyze this, please. Woof. I mean, you think McDonald's because they have a burger called the Quarter Pounder, but it's not. It goes to Texas's very own what a burger. I saw somebody asking for the pin. You can still join in. The pin join is 213-1191. It's not too late to join. What a burger. Correct answer. Only 128 of y'all. This is a stumper. I told y'all this was gonna be tough. This was gonna be this is gonna be one of those you hang around. Don't miss one and jump out. You gotta you still got a shot at this. Let's see what that leaderboard looks like. If Suzanne's still holding on, she is not. Welcome to the top three there. PC game. Uh Jeremy Eccles and Josh and Lexi got a little tag team going there. A shout out to uh, y'all in the top three. Josh Lexi has the highest answer streak of three. I've got to think a lot of people have a streak of three right now. Oh man! All right, let's uh, let's get to question number four, shall we? Let's dive in. Let's see what we got. Which of the following is not a milkshake flavor currently available at Cookout? Cappuccino, walnut, cotton candy. Or blueberry. I don't know. Can y'all hear the music? Or is it just on my screen? I don't know. This is tough. This is tough. I know it's tough. Oh, you know what? They do have a walnut shake. I'm not really sure what that tastes like. But they do not have a cotton candy. And there it is. Cookout, for those who are unaware, is more on the East Coast. It's out of North Carolina, although it's expanding um, more west. I don't know how far west it goes. We have a few of them here in Alabama, but it's very big in the Carolinas of Virginia. There you go. Cotton candy was the correct answer. Going to see some more moving and shaking on the leaderboard. I just know it um, for sure. Well, well, hold on now. Josh and Lexi going strong. 3,694 points for them. They are just kind of running away with it right there. Oh, um, J.E. Photography in second place, and then right behind them is J.K.P. And then Client and Betsy, just right outside the uh, top three. Whew. Josh and Lexi knows their fast food. Of course, there's two of them, so... Um, how are we doing out there looking at the chat here? A lot of people saying, I don't have cookout. And then some people saying, we have cookout and we love it. Cookout's good. I love cookout. I, I don't have that much experience with it, but um, correct me if I'm wrong, y'all, but does cookout not have many corn dogs? 
which is one of the greatest inventions of all time. Also, yes, Betsy Scoggins cookout has cheer wine, which is a, which is delicious. Y'all know I love some cheer wine. Question number five. Where would you find Mardi Gras mustard dipping sauce? Would that be Raising Cane's, Popeye's, Church's, or Nola Chick? Sounds good, doesn't it? I, I dip some stuff in some Mardi Gras mustard. I don't know if y'all can hear this music or if I'm just bouncing to nothing. Oh, y'all know your Mardi Gras mustard. You know that comes from Popeye's. Oh, yep. All in the all in the chat here. I'm seeing a whole lot of people saying Popeye's right here in the game. A whole lot of Popeye's answers. 284. Y'all got that one right. Uh, so congratulations. Let's see what that leaderboard looks like right now. Yes, Green uh, Greenway Female says, I'm from New Orleans. I better get that right. If you're from uh, the state of Louisiana, the whole place, and you can miss this one, I don't know if they'll, they'll probably kick you out. Josh and Lexi. Must not be from uh, Louisiana. JKP up to first place. Client slides into second place. And then JD Sneed sitting in third place with a score of 3,797. Would you look there? Would you looky there? Now, this is just a lot of moving around. Who knows what's going to happen? Um, I tell you uh, what I do know that will happen if you join the potluck today and at the dessert level. Before the end of April, we're going to send you a biscuits, cornbread coin, cornbread biscuits, just like that. That's only if you join the potluck at the dessert level, which means you get all of the cool things that the normal potluck members get, but you get a quarterly gift. And this quarter is the biscuits and cornbread coin. How awesome is that? I think for at Christmas, your, uh, your gift was uh, an ornament. Pretty sure it was an ornament, Christmas ornament. So it's all kinds of cool stuff. Every quarter, this is it for scale. That's a quarter, and this is the biscuit cornbread coin, which is awesome. So if you're interested in joining, please go to southernthing.com slash potluck to join that, get all those cool perks that come with that, and uh, you help support It's a Southern Thing. Win, win, y'all. Check that out. All right, let's jump back into our game here. We got question number six coming up here. Ooh, six of 15. I'm fired up. Here we go. There are two types of French fries at Five Guys. Regular and what else? Sweet potato, Cajun, cheese, or curly? That's in case y'all can't hear um, the music. Oh, y'all were really quick with that one. I didn't even get a chance to go through the, the, the comments on that one. Wow. Slow down, y'all. You know your five guys fries. 273 of y'all were correct. The answer is Cajun. Cajun. Of course you know about fr five guys fries. They're the most generous of all the fast food restaurants. You don't get just your order of fries. You get a medium-sized paper bag of fries. They just dump them in there. God bless five guys. All five of those guys. God bless them. Um, although I'm seeing a lot of people typing their answers out on Facebook. Um, and that's fine. You play, you're not going to win that way. But um, I, I like to see y'all's answers. Like, y'all saying sweet potato. That would actually be delicious. Um, yeah, someone said, I uh, uh, lost the, the comment. They said, yeah, you pay for them, though. Yeah. Uh, five guys is not uh, cheap. I, I will give you that. You're going you gonna to spend a pretty penny at Five Guys. Ooh, Taylor DP has gone up to first place there. J.D. Sneed is sitting in second place now. And then me, but not me. Maybe not you, me. Someone named me is sitting in third place now. Oh, Josh and Lexi, welcome back to the top five. You're right behind Shaney. All right, here we go. Question number seven out of 15. Which restaurant has an original hand-painted mural in every location? Is it Bojangles, Burger Street? Dat Dog, or Firehouse Subs? I, I, again, I can't. I don't know if you can hear the music or not. It's definitely better than my beatboxing. Brian says you get a greasy bag at Five Guys. You for sure do. Uh, Firehouse Subs is the correct answer. It didn't stump some of y'all. Some of y'all thought Bojangles, and they don't do that, but that would, what a beautiful mural that would be. Firehouse Subs is the correct answer. 258 of y'all got that right. I love 
Firehouse Subs. Can I just take a minute, y'all, to recognize that Firehouse Subs is the best sandwich shop in the game, hands down? Nobody does it better than Firehouse Subs. Nobody. Yeah, they're saying no music. Well, you're just going to get more of my beatboxing, y'all. That's what you're going to get. Firehouse Subs is the correct answer. Um, let's see how you did. If it changes the leaderboard at all, there's a little bit of shaking up there. Cheney is up now to first place. Taylor DP in second. Josh and Lexi now sitting in third. Um, yeah, it's still close, though. This is anybody's game. Anybody's game. They Any of them miss one here, and it's going to be wide open. Yes, so good. A lot of people. Whoa, whoa, Karen, Karen says Firehouse is awful. Karen, I'm not going to allow. I am not going to allow Firehouse sub slander in this chat. Thank you, Cody Hook and Ladder, all day long. A lot of people. Whoa, Jimmy John's fire. Get out of here. Yes, Jimmy John says way too much bread. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Some of y'all. Some of y'all have lost your mind. All right, here we go. Let's go to the next question before I get angry. I'm tired of seeing the Firehouse subs slander. Question number eight. Wayne Brady, Little Richard, and Clay Matthews have all appeared in commercials for what Georgia-based restaurant? Is it Waffle House? Is it Moe's? Is it Chick-fil-A? Or is it Zaxby's? What could the answer be? Oh, I think you know the answer. Y'all wasted absolutely no time at all on that one. You watch a lot of TV, you see some commercials, you know that Zaxby's. And let's just be honest, those have been some weird commercials. I think Zaxby's is more worried about the name that they can get, and they spend not so much time on um, uh, you know, what they'll actually be doing once they agree to be in the commercial, it seems like. Taylor DP, Right back up to first. You're just ping-ponging back and forth there. Ethan is in place, and then JE Photography in third. Welcome to the top five, though. I see a new name has made their way into it. Jarrah Ann, welcome aboard to the top five. Who knows where this is going to end for you? It's it's nice to see a different name in here now. All right, that's uh, question number eight. We're headed to question number nine now. Uh, now we're just talking about what's TV. Uh, I don't get regular TV. Now they're just talking about it. they don't know. Y'all don't know what a TV is. You never disappoint. You're never saying what I think you're saying in the chat. Zaxby's is the worst. You know what? Now we could do. That's one thing we have not done yet is a bless your rank on chicken finger places. I'm game for it. I am I am game for it. Here we go. Number nine. Which restaurant has become a staple of winter holiday celebrations in Japan? Is it Papa John's? Krispy Kreme, KFC, or Burger King? Y'all are answering so fast. I guess you want to get the points. Makes sense. That's good strategy. 501 answers coming in. Whoa, this is the overwhelming. Y'all know this one. You, you've got this one. Everybody knows it's KFC, although one person said Krispy Kreme. And honestly, I would that would definitely make that a holiday tradition. Why, why don't we? Why don't we make a Southern Christmas tradition around Krispy Kreme? I'll figure something out. We'll start it ourselves. Uh, KFC is the correct answer. They love it in Japan. You have to get like on a, some people have to order it ahead. Uh, or none of that's actually everyone there. It's encouraged that you put place your order way in advance for your Christmas KFC bucket in Japan. That's incredible. Incredible. I don't, I don't know why they love it that much. Um, but they do. They love them some KFC. There it is, 363, y'all. Let's see what happened to the leaderboard. I am nervous. Taylor DP holding on to that lead. Wow. JE Photography, second place, JD Sneed. And then welcome to the top five down there, Meg. Welcome aboard. Could you move up at the top three? I don't know because Taylor DP is running away with it right now. Running away with it. I got a stumper coming up here in a second, though. I'm going to admit, this one is going to be tough unless you live... I mean, like, if you really know your fast food, you're going to know it. Um, you got a shot out of here. Uh, I was just looking to see if there's any... If anyone can, can help explain Japan's uh, love of KFC here. Um, 
They also have, oh, they have knockoff KFCs there. It's so popular. They have K pro, which is like a, a offshoot. Wow. Okay. Amazing. All right, here we go. Um, question number 10, 10 of 15, round in that corner here. Before they were America's drive-in, what was Sonic originally named? Was it Top Hat, Speedies, Green Top, or Buttons? Y'all are answering so fast. Do you know this? Are you just guessing? I don't know. You get some fast fingers. I would not have answered yet. Oh, wow. There it is. Oh, wow. The stumper. The stumper. There it was. Top hat was the correct answer. This one, y'all. Speedies, I just made up because I thought, you know, they're on roller skates that y'all might fall for that. And you did. Top hat was the correct answer. Top hat's also the name of a barbecue place near me up in Blunt County, Alabama. Green Top is the name of the barbecue place right by my house. Shout out to... Shout out to them. They ain't watching. They're busy making barbecue. A buttons I made up because of the red button. Whoa, this. This, we could see some moving and shaking on the leaderboard here. For sure. Let's just jump into it. I want to see. I want to see what happened. Taylor DP and JE Photography. Come on now. How do you know so much? Uh, Canadian Matt. The Canadian version of me. I'd like to meet Canadian Matt. Welcome to third place, Ethan. Welcome to fourth place, J.D. Sneed. Still just trying to barely hang on there in the top five. Wow. Yeah, Sonic Speedy. It was a good guess. I'll give you that. It was. Um, I have ever heard of Foo Sacklies. I uh, lived off of Foo Sacklies in college. That's a story for another time. Y'all, real quick, I uh, wanted to remind you to check out the potluck, the link is below southernthing.com slash potluck go there you know after we finish playing the game here uh and think about joining to support it's a southern thing it's a membership program that goes uh, you know what you pay for your membership goes directly to support our videos all the stuff that we get to make the articles all that fun stuff uh and we give you some cool stuff in return uh like a weekly newsletter um that is a look gives you a look ahead at the sketches that we're making um you get uh behind the scenes information you get little uh back and forth questions with different team members like i think that talia has done one adam is doing one i don't know if it's been if it's gone out yet to y'all also i read i write i read i write a once a month column called bonus blessing um that one will go out the next one will go out actually this friday so if you join now you'll get the column on friday where i'm ranking peeps flavors peeps flavors I've got them all sitting right over here in front of me. There are seven of them. I'm, I'm not too excited about it because some of them sound pretty gross. Like there's a hot tamales peep that I'm not so sure about. Um, and a watermelon, that makes me not be too bad. But I'm going to uh, rank those, write a little column. I'm a writer first, y'all, so don't worry. It's going to be well written for, you know, as much as I can do. Um, but that'll come out on Friday. If you join at the dessert level, just want to remind y'all, if you just join the potluck at the dessert level before the end of April, you'll also get the biscuits and cornbread coin. Look at that. If I get that beauty to spin right there in the light, look at that. I got a job on home, home shopping network. If this doesn't work out, I mean, just look at that. It's huge. Again, that's a quarter and that's our coin. So go check that out. Southernthink.com slash the potluck. Join at the dessert level to get the biscuits, cornbread coin before the end of April. Here we go. Oh, we did a lot of moving and shaking on that one. Let's see. And I forgot that question was even in there. So there's a harder question coming up that could really uh, shake things up a little bit. Question number 11. Let me go ahead and get back to uh, full screen here on this one. The fried crispy crumbs you can order from Captain D's are officially called what? Cracklins, crunchies, fish food, or little fishies? I can tell you which one I'd like for it to be called but it's not. Y'all are not so sure about this one. Yeah, you were split. You thought maybe Cracklins, you were Crunchies, but according to the Captain D's website, more specifically through nutritional facts sheet, they're called Cracklins. It's just fried batter, right? Fried fat. It's That's it. 
and they're delicious. They're absolutely delicious. Cracklins was the correct answer. Oh, hello. My watch thought I was talking to her. I don't know what that was. Cracklins was the correct answer. Little Fishy's not right, but boy, would I love it to be. I mean, wouldn't it be great if you were like, let me get a two-piece fish dinner and some little fishies on the side. Captain Easy, if you're watching, make it happen. Uh, Taylor DP did not did know, neither did J Photography. They, I guess I guess Taylor DP knew, but was a little slow on it. Bella, welcome to first place out of nowhere. Melissa G, second place. Taylor, Taylor DP down to third. Meg is still hanging in there at fourth. And then Millie May with two exclamation points sitting in fifth place. Oh, look down there the bottom, three in a row. Sar Bear is back in the game. I don't know where Sar Bear is at, but they're in the game. They just wanted you to know. Question number 12. Founded in Florida in 1954, Burger King has two locations in over 100 countries, but goes by what name in Australia? Hamburger Monarch, Hungry Jacks, Charbroiled, or Mr. Mustard? That's what this music sounds like to me, y'all, since you, you can't hear it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Hungry Jacks was the correct answer. I mean, a lot of y'all got it right. You were kind of split there. Um, I think looking at the math of that, more of you got it wrong. But who knew? I just found this out like three weeks ago. That is Hungry Jacks. Who who knows? I, that, that's crazy. Someone else uh, was already uh, named. Burger King in Australia when they expanded. So that's why. Um, Hamburger Monarch is an inside uh, joke that um, Adam Schwartz has. Um, I could not even explain it. But yeah, that's uh, Hamburger Monarch. <laughs> not the right answer. Uh, Charbroiled. Mr. Mustard, not even close to being right. But as I'm seeing in the chat here, that would definitely be uh, would be better. Than, than Hungry Jacks. All right, here we go. Question number, what are we on here? This will be 13. Oh, I tell you what, y'all. It has been a wild ride on this leaderboard. Melissa G up to first place now. Meg in second. And Steph K, welcome aboard. They've gone all the way up to third place. Uh, Millie May still hanging in there at fourth place. And Loranda in fifth. Let's see what happens now. Question 13, which fast food restaurant was founded right across the street from the Alamo? You know, that, that place, San Antonio? It's got some history to it. It was a Whataburger, Dickie's Barbecue Pit, Church's Chicken, or CC's Pizza? Suzanne said, check your math on the last one more, correct? You're probably, I won't take your word for it. I'm not going to check my math. Uh, I'm not a fan of, you know, math. Uh, Church's Chicken was the correct answer. Founded in San Antonio. Church's Chicken, the correct answer. Right across the street from the Alamo. Right across. I guess why they became so popular. You'd go over there, they're getting all, all kinds of tourists, and they could go across street churches, and they were selling two pieces in a roll. Two pieces of chicken in a roll for whatever it was back then. That's how they got their start. Church's Chicken, only 95. Y'all got that one right. So I got a feeling we're going to have another big... Um, I don't know why I keep doing that. I just want y'all to see... Uh, the background on my computer, which is the shrimp boat down in Bayou La Battery. Is that the Jenny? Who knows? Um, it's really just Matt has clumsy fingers and accidentally swipes away from the uh, the screen. Let's see what happened to the leaderboard because I got a feeling it got a little wild here. And it did. Meg is now sitting in first place. Millie and Millie May just been hanging around waiting to get into the top three. There they are. Feature Rick came out of nowhere. Welcome to third place. Whitney into fourth. And Melissa G is falling back to fifth place there. Wow. Wow. What a ride, y'all. What a ride. John Luke wonders if Davy Crockett ate at churches. I don't know. You know, I actually don't remember the date that it became across the street from Elmo. So maybe it was. You know, go write that in your next history paper and then find out. <laughs> You'll find out the hard way. And that's not possible. All right, question number 1450. We got two questions left. Wards is a chain restaurant found only in what state? Alabama, Texas, Mississippi, or Virginia? Boom, 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 
bum 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 couldn't get a copyright strike there. You like that? There's my own spin on it. A remix, if you will. Oh, if I'm looking at the answers that are being typed into the chat right now, y'all are all over the place on this one. Y'all can just say definitively, it ain't in my state. <laughs> um, but we got about 17 seconds. This one's a stumper. Y'all are Googling right now, aren't you? You're Googling. I guess you can. I mean... How am I going to stop you? But just know that you get more points when you answer faster. Uh, oh, is it telling y'all what place you're in? I see uh, Julie Moss is at this point. I just want to make it to the top 200. There's a goal. Set yourself a goal. You know, you may not make it to the top five tonight. You may not make it to the top three win a prize. But you'll all finish top 1,000. I can guarantee that. Uh, Mississippi was the correct answer. A lot of y'all got that one right. Shh, don't doubt yourself. I'll never doubt y'all again. Wards is a Mississippi restaurant. I believe that they're mostly based in southern Mississippi. Um, but yes, Wards, a Mississippi establishment. Shout out to 238 of y'all that got that one right. Let's see what happens to the leaderboard here. Meg and Millie May know their answer there. Whitney in third place. Feature Rick down to fourth. And then Steph K. Sitting in fifth place, y'all. This is it. It all comes down to this. The final question. Go ahead. Go ahead and stretch it out a little bit. Get them fingers ready to go. Yeah, you don't have to make that noise. Um, but you might need to. I don't know. I don't know what your warm-up routine is. Question number 15, fast food trivia. I'm trying to remember what this question was, but they're all they're all great. They're all great questions. 15, the California raisins were used to advertise cinnamon raisin biscuits at what restaurant? Oh, well, looky there. I put a little clip of it in there for you. Would you look at there? Just look at them go. Just look at look at them little dancing raisins go. Oh, and they're gone. Just like that. Was it Hardee's, KFC, Bojangles, or Biscuitville? Ooh, y'all remember this commercial because it was great. And you remember, too, that you'd go to Hardee's and they'd give you a little California raisin. Well, you had to buy it, but I remember my uh, my grandparents would get me the little raisin. So here's a shout-out to Hardee's. I got my little Hardee's mug right here. Who remembers that? Their old pawpaw mug. Oh, God bless Hardee's. Hardee's first place. Um, I'll take a look at the chat here before we reveal our winners. Um, Oh, Karen says I worked for Hardee's for two weeks as a teen. Two weeks. So I bet there's a story there. Um, uh, we have awards in South Carolina. I, are you sure? That might be. Um, that might be a different one. <laughs> um, here we go. Yeah, people are going. They're already seeing exactly where they're at. So let's go ahead and jump into it and see who our winners are. Bum, 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 bum. I've got to do the music for y'all. I'm sorry. Third place, Feature Rick. Congratulations. Second place, Millie, whatever, Millie May. And your first place winner. Oh, I'm on pins and needles, y'all. It's Meg. Meg. Runners up down there, Steph K. And Skeletor made it to the top five right there at the end, y'all. Congratulations to Feature Rick, Meg, and Millie May. Hopefully, you put your correct email address in so I can contact y'all. Um, and to find out what shirt you want. But go ahead and be finding out. Oh, don't. Oh, that's the answers from today. I thought we were going to look at other trivias that we do. We, we play a little trivia at work once a month, me and the rest of the team. It's a lot of fun. But these are that's not that. These are the answers from tonight. Um, so thank you all so much for playing. It's been a ton of fun. Uh, winners, top three tonight. I will be emailing you all to find out what shirt you want. So go ahead and be looking at store.southernthing.com for the T-shirt you want so we can we can speed that little process up and we can get that t-shirt out to y'all winners um again thank y'all so much for playing a reminder to join the potluck um let me get this chat that came in here matt you're comedy gold keep up the great work thank you for that five dollar uh, super chat there professor geek you are awesome um remember uh, to go to southernthing.com slash potluck i'll go ahead and drop that in the chat for y'all again uh so you can just click on over to that and join the potluck today. We get all kinds of cool stuff. 
waiting. It's going. It's going. I hope that little boop was going to speed it up, but that's not how the internet works. Um, but yes, go join that. Help support. It's a Southern thing in the work that we do. And then in return, we give you all kinds of cool stuff. Regardless of what tier you join the potluck in, you'll get a newsletter every Friday that gives you behind the scenes look at what we're making, what's going to be coming out next week. We take pictures where we're on, on set and we give them to y'all as long as a little summary of the sketch. You get a little back and forth sometimes with some of the team members, like a little questions and answers. You get to submit lines that are going to be used in some of the sketches, like Tuesday's sketch has a line written by one of the potluck members. That's pretty awesome. You get to decide what a bless your rank is going to be next time. You get to decide the topic. You get access to the monthly column that I write called Bonus Blessing, where I rank weird things like this month. The one that comes out Friday is Peeps Flavors. And that's going to be fine. I got to, I got to write that tonight. I got to eat seven different types of peeps. So pray for your boy. It's a lot of sugar. Uh, and if you join the potluck at the dessert level, you'll get a bonus gift every three months. This quarter, it's the cornbread and biscuits coin. Join before the end of April to get this and join at the dessert level. Go to that link, southernthing.com slash potluck to join and get you that. Man, thank y'all so much for playing. I had a blast. This was a lot of fun. Shout out to our winners. Um, And hey, uh, hey, keep being awesome, y'all. Keep being awesome. Uh, I will see y'all when I see you. Got a lot of new videos coming out here soon. Just keep looking at the page. It's a Southern thing. See y'all later. Have a great night. Stay safe out there. God bless. Rotad.